Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, you're going to meet the CEO and founder of Girl Power Alliance and how they're taking the marketplace by storm. That's just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crowley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. So on this show, I love to put a spotlight on organizations that are doing amazing things. And on this show, we're going to learn all about Girl Power Alliance. I'm Michelle Schaefer, she's the founder and CEO. Thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. Now, what I love about your organization is it's, it's strong Christian women who lift as they climb. Tell us more about the organization. Uh, well, uh, first of all, I just want to say congratulations on what you're doing. I very much relate to kind of this full circle um, thing that happens in our lives. And Girl Power Alliance really was born out of a, a need personally. I have always been an entrepreneur, always felt called to the marketplace, called to help women uh, build their business, build wealth. And I've always been very passionate about my faith, a follower of Jesus, but the two never really mix. I never found an environment where I could really be celebrated as a woman of faith and an entrepreneur. Um, it was really one or the other. So I felt like I was answering a calling to create a community and resources for women that were like me, that felt called into the marketplace and wanted to use their uh, their business, their calling into the to to the the business world as an entrepreneur, and use that as their ministry. And just so people have a feel for who they're they're meeting at the, at the events that you hold, you have a, a, a legendary career, uh, 17 years, right? And and top sales uh, positions. Tell everybody about your career. Mm, uh, well, I'm going to start a little before that. I was a teen mom. I have three kids. I grew up with my kids. I had my daughter at 16, my son at 19, and I uh, was single for almost seven years. Got remarried and had a third. And my life as an entrepreneur started in my young 20s. Um, I stood behind the chair as a stylist and a makeup artist. And I, I really enjoyed that career, but I knew that I wanted to have a, a longer impact than just a great hairdo. Um, so I got involved in the network marketing profession at that time and really have been there for over 18 years. Been so blessed to be really successful, building very large teams. Um, have worked on the corporate side and in the field and just fell in love with uh, really helping to walk alongside of people and help them to really step into their identity, uh, both in the marketplace and in their, uh, their spiritual life. Absolutely. And I love how you're able to, to marry your faith with your passion. We're going to show an overview video right now. Do you feel lost, wishing you had more direction? Are you longing for more fulfillment in your life, your profession, and in your walk with God? For such a time as this, that is what we believe here at Girl Power Alliance. Our mission is to influence the world by empowering women to rise and dream bigger through kingdom-minded mentoring and leadership. We are passionate about creating financial sovereignty for women around the world. The Girl Power Alliance is a premier community for Christ-centered resources and training for your personal and professional development. We are creating a new narrative for women, committed to raising up more women as biblical leaders than anyone else on the planet. At Girl Power Alliance, we aren't just doing something outside of the box. We are breaking the box. Creating a passive residual income is no longer a want, it's a necessity. If you're an entrepreneur, a professional, small business owner, 
a mom, a wife, a daughter, or a ministry, your voice matters. We believe there is no competition in the kingdom. Align your faith with your calling. Align your faith with your profession. Boldly take bigger steps knowing you have a community of women encouraging you and growing with you. If you're ready to take your life and your calling to a kingdom level, then now is the time for you to join the Girl Power Alliance movement. absolutely powerful video. Uh, you have an event coming in Dallas in uh, a month, right? Tell us about the event. We're so excited about this event. We're excited to host it right there in your hometown. Um, it's called Activate. And this is an event for Christian influencers, uh, Christian women, Christian women that want to be in business or are in business are really looking to connect with other women, to network with them, to have a whole girls weekend where they're getting fed just tremendous um, inspirational stories, tools, um, gathering. We're going to do a fun night where we celebrate each other and get all dressed up. And we're just really excited about coming together because we have so many people have been kind of locked up at home and events have really changed since 2020. So um, it's in addition to that, it's kind of a grand opening event for us here at Girl Power Alliance. And we're opening it to anybody to come because we really believe that, uh, you know, we are more powerful together. So we're excited to meet new friends and connect with old friends that we have been working with and talking to online for a couple of years. Outstanding. Tell us why you chose Dallas. Well, okay. So the original, uh, when I originally was planning the event, started planning it in about May of last year, we were still pretty heavy into lockdowns. I live in California and there was a lot of restriction on events. And um, so I was like, where can we go where we can still feel like we have some freedom? So that was number one, Texas, of course, is, um, you know, at the heart of, I think, us as Americans feeling like Texas is a state of liberty. Uh, number one. Number two, it's in the middle of the country, easy for people to get in and out of. And when we flew in and met with the people at the ho hotel, the hospitality was just off the charts. So um, we're very excited about uh, making new connections and really just having a phenomenal event right there in Dallas. Well, and I urge my audience to go check out all their social media platforms. They have amazing videos, and, and one of them is a testimonial video. Let's let you hear from some of the people who have attended their, their events. Hi, my name is Catherine Schiffer, and I am from Temecula, California. That, you know, the enemy twists my thoughts, and he comes in and he tells me that, who do you think you are? You're not ready for this. You will, you know, look at what you've done. And learning to take those messages out and replace them with God's truth has been a, a huge piece in this, um, it, with this opportunity and just changing the way I think. And, you know, we've learned how to change our mind. We've learned how to change our attitude around money. We've ha learned how to change our attitude around food and our body and how we steward our body. And I am an advocate of body, mind, and soul. And that this just reiterates what I already believe to be to be 100% accurate, you know, what we are one and what's going on in our mind reflects itself in our body and what's happening in our soul reflects itself in our, in our life around us. Hey there, I'm Chrissy and I'm a biblical mindset and spiritual development coach for Christian women in the online business space. One of the biggest things for me during my time with Radiant Leadership Academy is that I learned to embrace the leader within. What I realized is that as a born again believer, we are also born again leaders. We lead by following Christ and walking out the callings and assignments that he's given to us. Everyone's journey is different. And from the very beginning of RLA, God was telling me to shift my primary focus back onto my family unit and allow him to build my business his way in his perfect timing. I've been able to release the pressure of doing things the way of the world, the way that others have told me to do it and embrace the way that God is calling me to do it. And he has been so faithful to connect me to people and opportunities. And now I'm allowing him to bring the results 
in his perfect timing without the pressure to perform. I'm Karen from Doncaster in the UK and I didn't want to lead. I didn't want anything to do with leadership because of the way that I've been so hurt by leaders in the past. And I realized that that was still a root in my heart and, and God's allowed me just to peel off layer after layer after layer. So instead of me being a, a cheerleader, I can actually lead myself I can lead, I know that I'm leading my family in an incredible way that's, that literally will last for generations. And to actually have tools of getting rid of the lies that keep coming every day and how to combat that and say, no, I am a woman of substance. I am a leader. I'm a, a daughter of the most high. So one of the things I love about what you do is you have people who walk their talk. So you have a, a number of very impressive speakers. Give us a glimpse of some of the people that we're going to be hearing from next month. Uh, well, our one of our keynotes is a Texas resident. She is very lovingly known as Auntie Ann Byler. She's the founder of Auntie Ann's Pretzels, and she's just a powerful businesswoman with just unbelievable experience. She's going to be pouring out into some of the women, uh, which we're so excited about. We have a number of speakers who are out there currently successfully running businesses as women, as women of faith, their mothers, their wives, their daughters. And so we have a twofold mission. Number one, we want to inspire and fill women up. And number two, we want them to leave equipped with tangible lessons and tangible tools to take into their homes, into their businesses so that we move the needle. We don't just get together and have fun, which we plan on doing, but we want them to leave feeling not just inspired, but actually empowered and equipped to go out and uh, make some really uh, incredible and powerful shifts in their life and in their business. Um, we also have Tasha Layton. So for those of you that listen to Christian radio, she has had the number one song for months and months in a row. She's going to be our, um, like our headline entertainment on Saturday night for, uh, I'm sorry, on Friday night at our gala. This is a red carpet gala where we're going to get dressed up, have fun, celebrate, eat great food and hear amazing entertainment from her. And I love it that you also give uh, the women who attend your conference action steps. I've attended a number of conferences where you have motivational speakers and you get all jazzed up and then you leave, but you, you really don't have an action plan. That's important to have a, have a plan of action, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes. All too often you go to an event, you feel the emotion of the event, you're, so, you're almost on a high and you come home and it's like, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great event, but you come home and it didn't change anything. Um, after being going to attending events for you know almost two decades, I didn't want this to be that. I wanted this to be to fill them up and inspire them, but I wanted them to be able to go home and actually see that something changed as a result of attending this event. And so that's uh, we're very focused on that. Okay, Michelle, we're almost out of time. So for the woman who's watching this right now and who hasn't bought her ticket yet, tell her why they, she needs to go. Um, first of all, we need you there. The event needs you or you need the event. I can tell you that for sure. If you are feeling even remotely called, we are your people. Take it from my own experience, years and years, feeling alone, feeling like um, nobody understood me or, and I couldn't relate to them. And I didn't have really this community of support. There is nothing like a community of women that will encourage, empower, and equip you to stand in the the identity of the woman that God created you to be. And this is going to be a, a couple of days, two and a half days, where you will be immersed in that culture. You're going to make new friends. You're going to leave totally inspired, filled up, and you're going to come home equipped for the next stage of your journey. Outstanding. You've been an amazing guest. Michelle Schaefer, CEO and founder of Girl Power Alliance. The website is girlpoweralliance.com. Michelle, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.